Good morning, Euphoria. Welcome to our first virtual maths lesson. Uh, today, we're learning to use informal methods of multiplication. To start with, I want to recap what we did with mental methods of multiplication. You can remember when we did 32 multiplied by 4, we used an array. So we partitioned 32 into three tens and two ones, as you can see on the left hand side. That's the multiplicand. And then we split, uh, multiply that by 4, which is the multiplier. So there were four rows of 32. Then we added together the ones and we added together the tens to find the answer. The other way we looked at was just to partition the numbers without an array. So again, 32 gets broken down into 30 and 2, both of which are multiplied by the multiplier of 4. 30 times 4 is 120. 2 times 4 is 8. We add the answers together to make 128. I want to move on today to using the informal methods from this mental methods. So we're going to use a method today called the grid method. As you can see here, we're still doing the calculation 32 multiplied by 4. I have partitioned 32 into 30 and 2, and I have laid them out on a grid so you can see they're both at the top, and the 4, the multiplier, is at the side. So in each box, we're going to multiply the multiplier by one of the place values. So the first one will be 4 multiplied by 2, and the answer will go into the box, as you can see, is 8. The next one is 4 times 30, and as you can see, that will go into that box. Once we've filled in the box in this method, we then add the answers together. So again, 120 plus 8 becomes 128. So this method is a nice way of laying out the, uh, the grid so that we can see the multiplications we're going to do. We partition it 30 into 30 and 2. We multiply it by the multiplier. We do the 1s first to get 8. We do the 10s next to get 120 and put them together to make 128. Here, I've got three examples for you to have a try at. So draw out some grids, partition the multiplicand up, multiply them by the multiplier, then add the answers together. And I will put the answers up now. So pause the video, have a go at them, and then see whether you get the right answers. So here are the answers. How did you get on? Hopefully you got on really well. If not, maybe go back and have a look and see where you got went wrong. OK, so we've done this now for 10 times tables. So my apologies. We've done this now for tens and ones multiplied by ones. Don't know why I said times tables there, but my apologies. So now what happens if we did it by hundreds, tens and ones multiplied by one digit number? Well, as you can probably imagine, the first thing we're going to do is partition 254 into 250 and 4. So we're splitting it by the place values and we're multiplying that by the multiplier, which is 3. So in one box, we're going to have 3 multiplied by 4. In the other, we're going to have 3 multiplied by 50. And in the last one, 3 multiplied by 200. Obviously, 3 times 4, we work that one out first. Always, always starting with 1s. So 3 times 4 is 12. Then we move on to the 10s, 3 times 50, which is 150. And then we move on to the 100s, 3 times 200, which is 600. And then finally, at the end, we add them together, 762. Now, I've not done the written method this time, but I'm sure you can have a go at using the written method. You might have to use some exchanging, so be careful with that. OK, so exactly the same as with the two digit numbers when we use a three digit number. Just now we've got hundreds in there as well as just tens and ones. So again, here are some examples for you to go. So draw out some grids, have a go at these three. And again, I'll put the answers up now so you can pause the video and have a go at them and then put the video back on again to check your answers. So here are the answers. Hopefully my face is not screwing this one here. There you go. 1,178. Um, how did you get on? If you didn't get, if you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, have another go at them to see where you went wrong. It could be that maybe when you've used your actual adding together the answer at the end, that's where it's gone wrong. Right. So have a go at the questions. I'm going to send across the do, the think and explore questions today. This is definitely a two day activity. So have a real go going and doing the do's. If you get onto the things, great. If not, don't worry. Tomorrow, I'll send out some help on how you can answer the do, the sorry, the think and the explore questions. And I'll also send out some solve questions for you. Good luck for a. And if you get stuck, remember, you've got my email address. OK, bye bye.